Breaking news we've been following out of West Bloomfield. Yeah, that's where apparent human remains have been found inside a burned out car. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers is live at the scene. Shelly, what have you learned? Well, Joanne, we're out here in West Bloomfield, rough of Long Lake Road, right near Orchard Lake. We're at the old Pine Lake Schoolhouse. It's a school that's no longer in use. And joining us right now is the West Bloomfield Police Department, Police Township Chief Michael Patton. And talk to us about what you guys are dealing with out here right now. Well, about 1:25 this morning, members of the West Bloomfield Police and the fire departments responded to the scene. Area residents reported what they believe was a car on fire towards the rear of the school building. So, upon arrival, the officers, you know, and the fire department arrived. They quickly extinguished the car fire. The car was fully engulfed and it's totally burnt at this time. Uh, upon further inspection, there appears to be human remains inside the vehicle that we're investigating. Okay, um, and you guys aren't able to uh, identify that person that's inside the car. Correct. It, it, no, absolute identification has been made yet because the car has been, you know, thoroughly burnt. But you know, we'll eventually, you know, come to that, you know, identify the remains and the owner of the vehicle, and, and as the investigation continues. Okay, and there's concern. There was a missing woman out of Farmington Hills. What is this in any way related? No, we've been in contact with the Farmington Hills Police Department. At this time, we do not believe that the incidents are related at all. Okay, and we understand that you guys have two people that you're searching for. Well, we, there are two individuals that one of our officers had some brief contact with prior uh, to arriving at this scene. Uh, so we're attempting to, uh, you know, uh, contact them again to see you know, what their, you know, confirm what their presence in, in the area was and see if they maybe saw or know something related to this incident. Mm -hmm. And sort of the silver lining out here is that you have a little bit of snowfall, so you have some tracks and trails you're able to use in the investigation. Right. Well, obviously, we're looking at any kind of, you know. A, 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 Remains of any kind of tire tracks or footprints remaining in the snow. You know, this either what kind of evidence that may indicate as to what happened here. Can you talk to us about how highly unusual this type of crime is to find in West Bloomfield? Well, I think certainly, you know, in out here in West Bloomfield, these kind of incidents are, are you know relatively rare. You know, but you know, we'll conduct a thorough scene investigation. We've marshaled a lot of resources here. We've you know listed the help of a number of area agencies, and we appreciate their help and support. And you know, we'll conduct a very thorough investigation to figure out what happened here. Thank you so much, Chief, for joining us this morning. Thank you. So of course, they're going to be out here all morning. This is going to take all hours of investigation. Channel Seven will be following this case closely, reporting live from West Bloomfield. Shelley Childers, Seven Action News.